Today we're going to talk about Please Do Not Touch and how you can be a good museum patron. So this is something that you probably see a lot if you visit museums, art museums, natural history museums. A lot of times there are things and exhibitions that are not meant to be touched. This can be a little confusing because now there are also a lot of interactive places that welcome that, um, that want you to touch and interact with pieces. Right now it's a great idea to not touch anything um, and to not mm, put your hands where they shouldn't be. But uh, especially for fine art, it's always a good idea to look for signs, look for cues that'll tell you when it's appropriate and not appropriate to touch something. Um, a lot of artwork has sensitive surfaces. A lot of sculptures are made of metals that when oils and residue are on their surface, they eat away at that surface and they become a permanent part of the artwork. Um, the same with the surfaces of paintings or paper drawings, anything that's exposed and that can be touched directly, um, should it be. So one of the reasons that art handlers wear gloves like this is when they touch the artwork, they're not transferring any of those oils or residues from their skin to the surface of the artwork. Even if you have really clean hands, if it's a particularly sensitive object, it can be really bad to get those oils on it. Sometimes we use a mirror like this to demonstrate um, what can happen. And so if I touch the mirror here with my skin versus with gloves, you'll see that I'll leave behind all kinds of sets of fingerprints and I just washed my hands. And even if you're really well-meaning, you might have put on hand sanitizer or hand lotion or something else that can really mess with the surface of delicate artwork. So, yikes, you really don't want to be touching anything that you shouldn't. So remember to be a good museum patron. Please do not touch the art. Look for the signs. It'll protect you and it'll protect the artwork.